Uh, most <laughs> anticipated and expectations actually met. Um, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Battletoads, Crash Bandicoot 4, Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, mm -hmm. Gears Tactics, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, Persona 5 Royal, Resident Evil 3, Spider-Man Miles Morales, The Last of Us Part 2, WoW Shadowlands, Yakuza Like a Dragon, Fallen Order, Black Mesa, and Tell Me Why. I think for me, um, I might have to go fall in order because I had zero hope in uh, in EA actually producing a good Star Wars game. But at the same time, a lot of people were looking forward to it, right? Yeah, I mean, I was yeah. looking forward to it, but I did have mm -hmm. that bit of skepticism and having my expectations m met, or I guess exceeded, um, I, th I think it's easily fall in order for me. To me, like I would actually have to go melody of memory because I did not think that they could make a good fucking rhythm game. <laughs> I was like, Kingdom Hearts rhythm game? What the fuck? Like, I, I mean, was they like, had yeah, those. It was actually, actually challenging. It was obviously challenging, interesting because yeah. it's a Kingdom mm -hmm. Kingdom Hearts game. But the fact they could go from what three was to a rhythm game that was legitimately fun, challenging, wanting you to play on higher difficulties. And then, like, the way that, that, that they did boss battles in that was also extremely, like, creative. Yeah, there's, like, so three honestly, different modes that you can play in. It's crazy. Yeah, so, honestly, yeah. I would have to go with that. 100%. Well, well shout out to those Atlantis levels in Kingdom Hearts 2. I still hate it. I still hate it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have Finny Fun? You're right. <laughs> For me... I know I've been batting for FF7 Remake a lot, but man, that's like, FF7 is one of my favorite games ever. And people have been talking about remaking FF7 since like the PS2. That's something that had. You know what, Nexus, you're right. I'm, I'm going with you. Like crazy high expectations from mm -hmm. everyone. And the fact that it came out and is even good, and it's amazing. The fact that it came out and is even good. Is like and it's crazy. not even the full game. It's, it's not, not even the full, the full game. game. It's crazy. It's like, it's like one third of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm going with Nexus on this it one. Was able to kind of twist that expectation of like, well, it's not just a remake of FF7. It's also like kind of something new in a way, which is just really cool. Like totally blew me away. I guess Mesa. people have to put more more uh, faith in Nomura, huh? Yeah. Well, he technically didn't write this game. Well, he directed it he just, in my head. He's just there. Kind of saved it. Like, so. hey, make sure Cloud has this amount of belts. You see the belts <laughs> this amount there? of buckles. You see the belts on his belts? You gotta make sure he's got all of them. Hey, see the belts You see the belts on the horizon? You can walk there. <laughs> you remember that I did with the belt? You can guys. Let's uh, do that in the remake. Yeah. <laughs> Mesa, who who you vying for? I I'm going. Yeah, I'm just. I'm gonna have to give it to um Miles just because, like, like it it really did go beyond my expectations. Miles Morales. It is really good. Um, uh, Fallen Order is a close second. Fallen Order is a very close second, but I think for me personally, I just. I, I just love Miles too much to not pick it. Especially going in, knowing I'm going to love it, and coming out loving it even more. I, I just, I can't, I can't, I, I can't pick anything else. It's really strong. <laughs> Corey. I think for me, let's, I'm, I'm looking over the list right now, and I'm, I'm trying to really feel in my heart what was the most anticipated game. And, uh, and I want to say that for me, The Last of Us Part Two was the most anticipated game. Mm. Um, and I think I was just absolutely blown away with the risks that they took with that game and how I'm, I mean, know it's controversial and I know a lot of people are split on it, but I just I, I think that that uh, I definitely was happy with that game. I think I'm going to have to change my mind again because everyone keeps making good freaking <laughs> arguments. Because one, I was like, Fallen Order is like, damn, I wasn't expecting that to, to be good. 
And then you're like, Final Fantasy VII, I'm like, damn, yeah, I have been waiting for that since I was like a fucking kid. But then the last <laughs> no was, too, was the last time that. I was like, I was on it like the second it dropped and I marathoned it that weekend. Dude, I was, I was mm-hmm. like, I was like, besides the PS5, like I was on edge, like just waiting for that game to come out. I was just like, I fucking release it. I just <laughs> want it already. <laughs> I mean, I for that, so, yeah. I will raise you. Where were you when Sony announced uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake at E3 that I year? Would. And you just heard people in 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 the like theater on like live streams going like, "They're actually doing it! Oh god, it's happening!" And then they just were like, "Oh, we're doing a Final Fantasy VII remake," and then walked off the stage as if nothing happened. Yeah, yeah. I will say like, to those dreams. Of, um, expecting a game to not be great and having to exceed the expectations, man. Nintendo's been making crappy Paper Mario games like it's their job. And Origami King is dope. That game's awesome. I have, I have to play it. I haven't touched it's, it yet. It's like, it's not quite the same kind of thing people are looking for, like Thousand Year Door, but it's like the first good one in forever. I think I have to, because I... I ha- see Thousand Year Door. I'm t- I'm such a Thousand Year Door fanboy that I have yeah, to same. just like I I was not when I saw the battle system. I was so yeah. turned off from it. The the things that make Thousand Year Door good aren't in Origami King, mm-hmm. but it is still like a great Paper Mario game in its own kind of respect. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I think based off the numbers, uh, it would have to be Last of Us Part Two then, right? Mm-hmm. Two Ooh. votes. All right. Mm-hmm. Wow, I actually actually got one in. I'm gonna cry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you actually got one. Oh wait, I got I got one in. I got the PlayStation Five. Yeah, you freaking right stole that. <laughs> <laughs> use your cat. But use I'm your t- cat as a as a tissue. I, I will. <laughs> <I'll eat you. laughs> he gross. rubs his he rubs his cat all over his face every day. What do you mean? No, no, what the fuck? Every day. Where are they? Oh, there they are. <laughs> That's a really cute cat. 